Hello, this is your Express Briefing for Monday, November 18. From the San Antonio Express News, I'm Joy Marie Scott. Become a subscriber and read more of these headlines at expressnews.com. Today is the 20th anniversary of the Aggie bonfire collapse at Texas A&M, which killed 12 and injured 27. A new movie tells the story of one of the survivors. The Spurs take on the Mavericks tonight in Dallas, and UTSA plays at Utah State in men's basketball. Expect mostly sunny skies and a high of 75. Mortality rates for frail patients who have undergone minor surgeries are much higher than researchers anticipated. A new study co-authored by a vascular surgeon with UT Health San Antonio found that more than 1.5% of frail patients died within 30 days of a low-stress procedure, and more than 5% died after moderate-risk surgeries. The threshold for categorizing an operation as high risk is typically 1%. Fraley refers to a patient's overall physical health and ability to withstand stress, illness, or injury. Migration has slowed, but tens of thousands of asylum seekers are hunkered down in crowded, filthy, and often dangerous encampment along the Mexican side of the border. Migrants are stranded in Matamoros across the Rio Grande from Brownsville and Nuevo Laredo as a result of President Trump's Remain in Mexico policy, which has made it more difficult for them to cross into and stay in the U.S. Regardless, nearly all of the migrants say they're undeterred by Trump's vow to keep them out. More schools in San Antonio received gold ribbon honors for high performance amid high poverty, but San Antonio remains the worst major metropolitan area for public schools in Texas. Houston-based nonprofit Children at Risk awards letter grades to schools, boosting those with higher standardized test scores than others at their socioeconomic level. The weights and formulas used remain more rigorous than those of the Texas Education Agency. The state adopted a similar method last year and has a data sharing agreement with Children at Risk that will enable the nonprofit to release its ratings much earlier. Twenty years ago, a life size replica of the Alamo opened as a credit union. Today, Alamo Federal Credit Union remains a popular photo destination for building staffers and passers-by. It stands eight miles from the real thing and replicates the Alamo's iconic facade. Not only did the architects get the exact field measurements, but they shipped hand-cut limestone from Mexico to resemble the Alamo's exterior, minus the bullet holes. Consider a subscription to The Express News, the voice of South Texas since 1865. Just 95 cents for the first month, a digital subscription helps support our work covering San Antonio and South Texas. You'll get access to all our stories on expressnews.com. Join us at expressnews.com slash subscribe. And in other news to know today. The FAA is conducting tests to see how quickly passengers can escape a plane in an emergency despite tight seating conditions. UT Health San Antonio received millions to research breast cancer. A San Antonio police officer fired after being accused of domestic violence won't get his job back, for now. Bear County Sheriff Javier Salazar says he's taking numerous steps to prevent erroneous releases from the jail and keep it in compliance with state standards. The Air Force found mold or pests in 10% of JBSA Randolph's privately managed housing. San Antonio's Rooster Church celebrates Depression-era renewal. 
Historic St. John's Lutheran Church invites the community to a rededication November 24th and a First Friday concert December 6th. Hart Hanks was a one-time media giant and San Antonio institution. The company had just five employees remaining at its San Antonio office, which it closed last month to move headquarters to Austin. Charter schools lag behind in special education. State officials are concerned about lower rates of students receiving services compared with traditional public schools. Visit expressnews.com for the full story on all of these headlines and more. And now the fun stuff. Scare away your hunger with this large South Side Burger lineup. If you're going to open up a burger restaurant, you might as well have fun with it. And that's the theme at Monster Burgers, which sports unique menu monster mashes. Monster Burgers is the feature of our latest 52 Weeks of Burgers series. And Opera San Antonio has a new artistic leadership team. Deborah Martin has the details for you at expressnews.com slash entertainment. And that's your Express Briefing for Monday, November 18th. Get San Antonio's top news headlines daily. Subscribe on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcasts. For the San Antonio Express News, I'm Joy Marie Scott.